Hey guys, it's Jesse. Welcome to the Real Girl Guide. Today I have the return of a very special guest. My sister Allison is back in town for another little short trip here. Uh, we went to the Garth Brooks concert last night at the new Mercedes Benz Arena in Atlanta. It was pretty freaking amazing. And so today I thought we'd do a fun, very colorful makeup look. Uh, she tends to stick to very kind of neutral looks and so we decided today to really spice things up and really bring a lot of color into her eyes and her lips. So if you want to see how we got this look, just keep watching. We're going to start by priming with the NYX Pore Filler. Can what is it? it? It's a primer. Oh my gosh, it feels nice. It's supposed to fill your pores. Is that a good thing? Yes, because then your makeup sits smooth on your skin. If I don't wash this off tonight, am I going to have like really bad skin tomorrow? <laughs> no. Just kidding. For foundation, I'm using the Dior Forever Skin. This is the one we used on you last time. Oh, I know that it's the closest <laughs> thing here. Yeah. It smells good. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it does oxidize a little bit. This oxidizes me like when the it, air hits it, it changes color. Yeah, it gets darker. Because <laughs> it does look a little. I look like a ghost. I'm ready for Halloween. Next, we're gonna conceal. Let me turn your head more. Conceal with some Tarte Shape Tape. So we decided to go rock climbing today at like an indoor rock climbing place and I've never been before and Allie has been going more in Colorado. What do you think of my skills? You were like took off, like I couldn't believe. You were so good. I climbed up like two things and I was like in no. so much pain. I got like two rings up and I was like I have no upper body strength. I was impressed with your first time abilities honestly. My first time abilities were I like down. And well, then the I, like, very first one. And then I threw myself on the ground. Because that happened. The very, very first time you stood up and you're like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I was like, but by the end there, you definitely made it at least halfway up. I was very impressed. I didn't make it halfway up. But then I was like, you're going to get addicted and then you're going to have the strongest arms in the world. I want, I need to like, get strong arms. I, did, I just like put that on your face. Whoo! See that? That's what rock climbing? That's all rock climbing. What else are your fall goals? My fall goals? Fall life goals. You don't have life goals for every season? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Not formally, but I, <laughs> I, like, I like life goals. <laughs> My life goal this fall is not to freeze to death. <laughs> I think that's a good goal. <laughs> I'm getting used to my Denver, Denver living. It snowed the other day. <laughs> Apparently it does that a lot. Apparently <laughs> My other life goal is learning to contour my own face. That's a good one. <laughs> I got that one down, so. Maybe when I come back for Thanksgiving, we'll do we'll a video. Do all, and like, I'll teach people how to contour. You can contour my face. Ooh. That'd be fun. You can contour me. And the student Would you trust me? The master. I mean, that would be some sister bonding right there. <laughs> I trust you to. First, you trust try. me on the rock climbing wall, then, you trust me with your makeup. Well, I didn't really trust you on the rock climbing wall. That's true, you didn't let me belay you. I did, you did not belay me. That's a lot of trust. 
that I'm not sure I possess. Okay. So funny when you first do the eyebrows, they look really intense, and then when and you then do the rest of the makeup, else, it, looks it looks normal. Right now, it's like, whoa, that <laughs> person has a lot of eyebrows. <laughs> crazy. Actually, I'm gonna spray a little layer of setting spray so all the powders that's to set in. Took me by surprise. <laughs> I always thought you just do that at the end. You put it, so it helps the powders kind of like sink in together and sink into your skin. So you don't have to do it, like you can do it at different phases. So at this point it would be nice because while we're doing your eyes. So am I fully contoured now? And then you do like Once blush again, you're and stuff? cream contoured, you're yeah. not powder contoured. It's like I ask you the same questions like every asked. time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow base. You have veiny eye eyelids too. See, I have very veiny eyelids. This must be a hereditary genetic thing. So I like to put this on because it just evens out the color. It's like an eyeshadow base. I have veiny legs too. Can you put that on there? <laughs> so what do you usually use as your first inspiration for any of your looks? Do you go eyes first or lips first? Or Either one. Else? Either one. Just like, depends on what you're feeling. Depends on what I'm feeling. Uh, usually it's eyes. Most of the time, like probably 75% of the time, it's eyes because I'll see a look that I really want to do. I'll see a color that I want to use or some kind of color. So I see people wearing the cool color lipsticks and I just feel like it looks so awesome. I'm going to go into Golden Ochre in the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. Anastasia. It's fun to say. What is your most memorable Halloween costume that Ooh. you've done? Okay, so many just popped up, but the first one that came to mind was Minnie Mouse. I was gonna say Tinkerbell for you. That was way, that's way back. So was Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse is a little bit older. I think I remember it because I had a really funny haircut that year. Had a, we had really bad haircuts. <laughs> I found the picture in my last video I put up pictures of me in like Halloween, different Halloween costumes. Mm, cute. And you and I had the same haircut because I was in... Bowl. Yes. <laughs> because I was in my like princess dress. I was in like a genie or like a jasmine mm -hmm. costume. And I... That was the year mom decided to cut our hair. Yeah, that one and the other one that, that came to mind was Cat in the Hat because that was Brace's year. So for some oh, reason yeah. I remember my costumes associated with my really bad looks. That are those were the worst haircuts ever. I don't know why she tried to. Why did she do that to us? Maybe, maybe she can. Maybe she can explain that to us. Mom, please explain to us why you gave us those horrible haircuts. And then she lied to us. She told. I thought for a very long time that the hair cutter just like went rogue and decided <laughs> to cut off all my hair because Mom blamed her. She's like, I didn't tell her to do that. <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly, we both got, yeah, yeah, somehow coincidentally, we both got the same. Oh my god, those like little, we had like horrible bangs. It was, it was, it was just bad. And then next, I'm going to take raw sienna. So how do you decide which colors are going to look good together? Or is it just sort like... of a crapshoot? And they all sort of end up looking good together anyway. I try to go, so I pick a first color, which is like a really light kind of transitional color that's sort of towards this color of your skin because you want it to be like the first base mm -hmm. color and then I like to go kind of a shade darker from there and you start giving it more definition mm. and then I usually do some sort of like statement color or like go along with what from there I go into like whatever the look is that I'm like the main going for yeah so you'll do cranberry last. Well, I'll, I'll do cranberry For next. My cranberry look. I'm gonna do start doing cranberry next. Oh, okay. Next, I'm gonna take a mixture of Venetian red and love letter because I like both these colors. We're going for a cranberry pinkish look today, and I'm gonna keep that on the outside corner. Just start working that in lightly. Actually, I might go in with a different brush. Let me see. That's really pretty. Ooh. 
very fall. And then I'm going to keep bringing a little more color in and then I'm blending it towards the middle. I'm going to go in with a different color on your whole eyelid, but I want to keep this layered so you can see kind of all those colors come through. I wish I could do this myself. <laughs> don't have the skills. Good. It's not that hard. I guess that is the whole point of these videos. <laughs> this is what I need to do is go back and watch your videos every uh, time I do my makeup yes. of you doing my makeup. <laughs> Next we're going to go into the Juvia's Place Saharan palette and go into the shade Fula. This was really the inspiration for this whole look. She saw this color and we really liked it. And so I like the whole palette really. Yeah, these palettes are awesome. Do you ever use this color that's bright red? I need to. You don't often see kind of like a red eye, more like red lips. Why did you just spray the thing? So this is a more of a this is a metallic eyeshadow, and when you put Fix Plus or like you can do any kind of like water, um, it just makes it look more foiled when you put it on. It just makes it a little more like your destiny. Mm. Foiled. This looks like really that. pretty. Can't wait to see it. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, that looks add, awesome. I'm gonna add some more dark on the outside so that it's more. I'm gonna go into a little bit of antique bronze. So we'll just complement this and make it a little darker on the outside. Ooh. So we'll still give it some of that shimmer. Just a little smoky. And it'll smoke it out a little bit. Yeah, I, really I think like that looks that. really pretty. Okay, and then I'm just taking a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of Cypress Umber, and I'm just going to keep that in the very outer corner. But I'm just taking a tiny little top. I just want that right there. Making a little V. Just to add more smoky. Mm hmm I love it. Ooh. And then I'm just going to take a blending brush and just make sure that everything is blended out because you don't want any harsh lines. You don't obviously want to see the line of where the different colors are. You sort of just want it all to blend together. Hence the name, blending, blending. brush. I love the little pop of metallic. I might go in with a little bit more. I think I will do that. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that hula shade because we want that to really stand out. So I'm going to use MAC Prunella, which is a purple. Oh, it's not the color of that lid? No. <laughs> that was deceiving. I was like, that is bright. No. That would really be something, but no. This is... I know, I was like, I'm, I'm trusting your judgment here. This is like a really pretty, it's kind of like a oh, dark that's pretty, that... eggplant yeah. purple. So. Ooh. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite tricks, and it's something I do all the time. If you have like an eye coal like that, and you put it on, and then you just sort of buff out, you take a little brush, and you do little motions like that, and you buff out the eyeliner. So it just looks, because eyeliner, the point of eyeliner is it makes your eyelashes look longer. Mm -hmm. Like it makes you look like you have fuller eyebrows, or eyelashes, not eyebrows. <laughs> Um, so I like it when it's smoked out like that because it just looks more natural. And I think especially on a look like this, where we don't want it too structured, I think we want this kind of just all blending and smudgy out. Mm-hmm. That looks great. Mm-hmm. It's good. I'm hit you with some mascara. Lash Paradise, of course. My favorite mascara ever. Bronzer. Bronze me, baby. And I'll use the What Up Beaches. What Up Beaches? Mm -hmm. That's a funny name. Yeah, face forward. Contouring your cheeks. With a Makeup Geek angled contour brush. I feel like for every day. Like this still, as much as it's made up, like this still is, like you can go out to dinner and you're not gonna feel like, oh, I feel like overly made up. Okay. 
We're gonna go into my Morphe 9N palette. And I think I'm gonna do, I wanna keep it really light, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Her skin is way fairer than mine, so she, you can handle these like light pinks. They look way better on you than they do on me. You don't like light pinks? No, they can look, because my skin has so much red in it mm. that it like makes it look a little funny, but I almost always just do like peach. But then my skin kind of absorbs it. Okay, so obviously we popped on some lipstick. This is Boss Babe by Colored Rain. I feel like it's an appropriate color for you. Boss Babe? Yeah, Boss Babe, because I'm a boss. <laughs> and I'm gonna spray it a little more Fix Plus. Or not, huh? spray it a little more setting spray. Okay, and here is the finished look. What do you think? I totally love it. I have never actually worn colors like this before, but I think it looks great. Do you think you'll now be more out of your comfort zone and wear more colors like this? Definitely. I need to go <laughs> shop for some lipsticks and get some purples and oranges. Well, now you have this video, so anytime that you want to watch it and figure out how I did your makeup now, you can just watch this video. I will do it. You'll be all set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Are you okay? Yeah, are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.